In today's video, we're gonna be covering some frequently asked questions on the video series, How to Build Your Food Truck with me, Frank Baltieres, and one of the most frequently asked questions that you guys always drop in the comments is, how much will it cost me to build my food truck or my food trailer? That is the million dollar question because there's no right or wrong answer, but I'm gonna cover some of the bigger ticket items that can get included in your food truck if you have a full kitchen on wheels there are other ones like an ice cream trailer ice cream truck uh, that don't require as many things maybe like even like a little yogurt one um, or uh, like a froyo style that don't require as much like a full kitchen i'm going to show you inside this food truck i'm frank baltieres and i show you how to build food trucks from a to z so let's get started on how much will it cost to build your own food truck or food trailer from scratch before you go to the inside of the trailer let's cover some of these high ticket items that you see on the outside to be honest it's one of the main things that make a food truck a food truck which is your serving window uh, just want to make sure that i mention this i do have a spreadsheet that i offer where i detail all the items that i can remember and i itemize them like line by line by line by line by line and that's just kind of like a reference for you guys to have it all in one place of how much the total cost will be all the exact items that I use with some links in there, the hyperlinks. So if you want access to that, make sure you send me a email, rollingburritosfoodtruck at gmail.com. I just want to mention this. You can find everything that's on that spreadsheet for free on all my videos. You just have to put in a little bit of sweat equity to go look for all the links. This just kind of shortens up your time frame. Just want to make sure I mention that because you can find it for free. And the spreadsheet, all I wanted to do is to help you guys out and make everything easier for you guys just to buy everything because i had to like google everything and where to find my sinks where to find my faucets where to find my window where to find my hood and this just uh, shortens that shortens that time frame for you again if you're new to the channel welcome and if you've been a fellow subscriber thank you for watching all the videos hopefully they've helped you out on the mission to build your dream of being your food truck or food trailer your mobile kitchen on wheels but let's get started enough yapping around this right here I even put little stickies on here so it can help us. I bought it at JR Aluminum at the videoing of this video, roughly, don't quote me on this, everything I give you in price is a rough estimate. I did look some of it up online, but this is kind of what we have on the prices to guide us. It's about a thousand bucks for this window right here. This is style 23A. So this is the food window, JR Aluminum, the serving window. And it has um, the, uh, they, they asked for it for my health department, almost like a, uh, oh my gosh, I'm, like a screen. That way it keeps the mosquitoes out and the flies. My health department quite requires it. Some of them don't. Some serving windows don't have this. So make sure that you check your health department requirements and any part of the build. It's a very important thing to do is to check your requirements of your health department. Moving down, down here, I got these together this top window and this serving shelf from jr aluminum order them as a package they do offer shipping if you don't want to go to ohio and pick it up I, I don't know the exact shipping so i can't give you that number but this one was about 282 dollars this shelf right here and it just lifts up like that and and you can just bring it down the same way just click these they're very easy very easy to install again i walk you how to do this step by step on all, my video, on all the videos previous to this. So that should be uh, easy for you guys to do. Let's walk right in. So I've mentioned this on uh, my previous video as well. Everything I kind of referenced to the previous videos just because I want you guys to go check the other ones out because that's where I really go into detail on how to build these. And again, if you have any questions, always drop it in the comments. I answer them myself. This right here on the walls, I use FRP. Uh, I'm not gonna give you a price because at the price when I bought this, it was really cheap. Uh, I wouldn't use FRP. If I could go back in time, I would not use FRP. I would use white aluminum, as you see up here. It's a lot sturdier, and I, I just think it's a lot cleaner. Uh, but there's nothing wrong with FRP. It is a little bit cheaper. And I bought these at Menards, along with these little dividers right here. So all this comes from Menards, and I know there's other places you can find it. This is just where I found mine. Electrical panel right there, very minimal cost, nothing crazy. High ticket item right here. This is my seven foot hood. I'm gonna put it right there so you guys can see it. So I bought it in Hoodmart. 
and that is in Elyria, Ohio. Kind of, kind of close to where the window's made, uh, but not exactly. But if you want to make it a whole trip, you can. But this is a seven foot hood from Hoodmark. No fire suppression system on this, okay? I do not put a fire suppression system from Hoodmark. I do it after, which is what I have on my food truck being rolling burritos, as you can see on my shirt here. This one was about $1,963. Give or take, I believe that's exactly what I found. I looked it up online, and that's with the hood, and then it has a little canopy up top. I, I like to call it the mushroom top, and it comes with the variable, variable speed control right here. This controls the fan motor up top, and that's what makes it run, and uh, obviously gives it uh, the power to, to continue to work and suck up all the smoke when you're cooking here. So that's about $1,963, no shipping. So that's that. If we move on, oh, right here, let's not go too far. These are my tables. Actually, this this one. This is the Regency 30 by 72 stainless steel. They do make shelves, sorry, tables, that underneath right here is galvanized steel. This would not be stainless steel. They're a little bit cheaper. My health department only allows stainless steel on the entire build of the table. This holds up my equipment. So this would be where I cook. I would chop off these legs a little bit based on the equipment that I buy. And then I would put my griddles, my burners, whatever I want up here. And then if I wanted to make it shorter, I could. Obviously I could have bought a shorter table and I could have put a fryer here. I don't use fryers, but you can in your build if you want to. So, but it gives you an idea. This is the table brand that I like. It's Regency. I would buy it over here too. These are advanced. These over here are advanced Tabco trailers. That's uh, like tables. Um, I do like the Regency a little bit better. I like the finish. As you guys can see, this is flat. This advanced Tabco is rounded. It has almost like a bull nose. You guys can see it has a bull nose on here. So two different styles, two different types of tables. There's not a right or wrong, but I just like how this one looks flat. They just didn't have it in, on, um, in stock. They had it on back order for like 16 weeks when I bought these. So let's move forward here. Another big ticket item is this one right here. This is my three compartment sink. It's my advanced tab coat. And I like this one because it measures 60 inches from left to right. And it allows various things. It allows my drain boards to be here, which is my health department requires. Make sure again that you check with your health department. Everything that you need should be on their website. Make sure you just Google whatever health department, county health department, let's call it Cook County Health Department, DuPage County Health Department. Uh, I'm in Illinois, so that's why I mentioned these counties. Lake County, Kendall County, uh, Will County, you name it. So this one is about $860. This one's a little bit hard to find, and shipping on this is ridiculous. Um, because it's just, it is what it is. It's sometimes 100 bucks, sometimes 200 bucks to ship this monstrosity right here. Why, I really don't know. That's just the way that the distributors have this sink set up. But this is the Advanced Tabco model number FE3101415RL. 1014 is just the measurement of these uh, sink basins. 15 is the drain boards on the right and the left. That's what that means right there. And that pretty much covers all the big items that you have. The water heater's a couple hundred bucks. Um, the sink right here, the hand sink is a couple hundred bucks. Everything's a couple hundred bucks. This right here is my dish rack. This is a real nice thing to have right here. I put all my spatulas and things like that. And I sometimes put a speed rail right here. I don't even have a speed rail up here right now. Oh my gosh. I wish I did so I could show you, but it's just like a little basket that you connect right here. It's called the speed rail and I buy it from Regency. Regency speed rail. And I keep like all my oils in there salt and pepper, whatever you want, you can put into the little basket there. I do have my knife holder right here, a magnetic knife holder, and this would just kind of go like right here. And that just holds up your knives. That's minimal cost too, probably like 20 bucks. So all these little things that I'm mentioning now are just little small items, but they all add up sometimes to the thousands. But that's your big ticket items, the hood, the window, the sinks, the, the Class A Customs water tanks at the bottom, and then obviously your truck or your trailer, depending on where you buy it and how you buy it, it's gonna be either 7,000, kind of like this one, 
or a truck can be 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 thousand dollars, depending on how you buy it, if you buy it new, if you buy it used. So keep those in mind. Hopefully that helps you out on the big items, the cost that you will have when you build out your food truck or your food trailer. Don't forget the lights up here. Those were probably a couple hundred bucks as well. So as I mentioned, everything kind of adds up and at the end you end up with a, with a big ticket. But at the end, I do believe that building out your food truck is the way to go because you build it out the way that you want it, the way that makes you happy, and, and the layout that's perfect for your cooking style. But if you're in a hurry, make sure that you contact the builder because they can probably get it done faster than you. Uh, this one took me a while, but I was in no hurry, and I'm so happy with the uh, results, and it uh, prides myself every time I come in here. Again, I'm Frank Baltiris on how to build your food truck. Hopefully this video helped you out.